Hello, I'm Erica, and welcome to Day 21 of the Blacks in Period Films Write It series for Black History Month. Today I want to discuss the autobiography, Narrative of the Life of Henry Box Brown, written by himself. This autobiography was wonderfully written. It was great being able to get the personal testament of the famous Henry Box Brown. As a history drop, Henry Box Brown was the man who escaped the enslavement in 1849 at the age of 33 by mailing himself to abolitionists in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Not only was the plan ingenious, it was also successful. After gaining his freedom, Henry Box Brown became a popular abolitionist speaker in the Northeast United States. As an escaped slave, he was understandably fearful of the Fugitive Slave Law of 1850. Because of that, he moved to England. Like the amazing man that he was, he adapted to living in England for 25 years, took an English wife, and began touring as a musician and showman. He returned to America with his wife and children in 1875 and continued working as a successful showman. He lived the rest of his life in Canada. Henry Box Brown lived an amazing life fit for the screen. And just to get um, a sort of idea of how he, who he was as a person, I want to read a section of Henry Brown's preface. This is going to give you just a bit of insight into the type of man that he was. So much has already been written concerning the evils of slavery, and by men so much more able to portray its horrid form than I, that I might well be excused if I were to remain altogether silent on the subject. But, however much has been written, however much has been said, and however much has been done, I feel impelled by the voice of my own conscience, from the recent experience which I have had of the alarming extent to which the traffic in human beings is carried on, and the cruelties, both bodily and mentally, to which men in the condition of slaves are continually subjected, and also from the hardening and blasting influences which this traffic produces on the character of those who thus treat as goods and chattels the bodies and souls of their fellows, to add yet one another testimony of and protesting against the foul blot of the state of morals, of religion, and of cultivation in the American Republic. For I feel convinced that enough has not been written, enough has not been said, enough has not been done, while nearly four millions of human beings, possessing immortal souls, are in chains, dragging out their existence in the southern states. They are keenly alive to the heaven-born voice of liberty, and require the illumination of the graces of Almighty God, having myself been in the same position but by the blessing of God, having been enabled to snap my chains and escape to a land of liberty, I owe it as a sacred duty to the cause of humanity that I should devote my life to the redemption of my fellow men. Amazing. And that preface is enough to let me know that he was also an amazing abolitionist speaker. It's, it's understandable why, in addition to his story, his voice and his word choice would also make him popular as a speaker. Henry Brown was intelligent and brave, and while reading his words, I imagined H Anthony Mackey as the legendary Henry Box Brown. Although Mackey is known for his hilarious personality, he has also taken on heavier dramatic roles in historical films before. He was most notably in the 2010 film Night Catches Us, playing an ex-Black Panther member. He was also in Notorious, We Are Marshall, Gangster Squad, and Detroit. Mackey's showman-type personality would shine through in scenes taking place in Henry Brown's later life as a musician and showman with a family act. Henry Box Brown was an amazing man who took decisive and creative action to gain his personal freedom. His autobiography, Narrative of the Life of Henry Box Brown, written by himself, is full of material that can be used to create an entertaining film or miniseries. Whichever direction is taken, I know that his life would be a thrill to watch on screen. Someone should write it.